Hey there, I'm Lubis. How's it going? Continuing with my series of Dungeon and Titan videos, let's do another one, shall we? In this video, we'll be addressing the dungeon tactics, and these ones will be specifically uh, with the, the the Titans themselves in mind. We will be ignoring completely the the hero fights because there are, those are mostly irrelevant in terms of difficulty. So the dungeon and the Titans. The first thing to, to take in, in mind, the, we will be following the, the a main strategy that is in every fight that will be using exclusively water, earth or fire titans, we will be having in the front a tank and that tank will be substantially developed, more developed than every other titan. The reason for that is that the tank sits in the front of the fight and needs to take the bulk of the damage and so th the, the, t the the tank also allows your, your other um, titans to, to survive longer so it is crucial that this, that this titan, the tank, is always the most fit you can possibly let them be. And so you will see here in my titan composition that my Angus is level 120 and the other Earth Titans of Earth quality are, are level 80 and 90 and then Sigurd and Moloch are level 100 and the other Titans of their respective elements are also level 90 and 80. So as you probably already guessed, Angus is my main tank and I consider the tanks to be the most important piece of this strategy. Consider this like a chess, a chess play. You will need to to play smart, and you will need to wear down the opponent, but keeping your best, um, keep, keeping some of your your uh, important pieces protected. That's what the tank does. So, regardless of uh, how little or how much damage the tank would be doing, they are essential in the fights. In the case of Angus, he actually does a lot of damage, so that's not really uh, an issue. Then we will have also um, neutral fights. These neutral fights are when you are fighting uh, other titans, with um, but with all your 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 water and earth and and fire titans as as possibility. So it's a mixed fight. In those fights, we will have a different composition, but we'll get to that in a bit. Let's, let's start with this. I really want to to try to show you some tactics here and if if needed we will be uh, redoing some fights just so we can show that off and, and basically pass on the information so that you guys can learn from it. So the first fight will be against the Water Titans. So let's go for this. This first one, two, three fights, one fight for each uh, element. Most often you can do you can do just auto because they will not have the time to often, not always to to power up all their um, all their uh, ultimate attacks. But in this case I will be stopping Eden from taking the last shot. and just use uh, Silva here. Uh, an alternative would have been to, to launch the, the shield of, um, of Avalon, which I do often, to prevent uh, Angus from taking some of the damage. It took quite a bunch. It might, it might arm us in the, in the next fights, but we'll see. Might have been a better option there. Uh, it's a warm-up, so we are prone to make errors. So we do some more hero fights here. Um, one thing to consider is that um, not always the the randomness of the the game will let you play all the the the, the elements in equal equal ground. So sometimes you will have more fights for a certain element and no fights for another element. That can really uh, unbalance the the fight. 
the fight. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes today. Now we'll be doing a water versus fire titan. Now, before we start this, I'll just pause and tell you a little secret about this. If you can time this and um, have your Sigurd fire off his shield the first of all your other water titans and let him absorb the, the blunt damage with the shield and then as his shield is running out you, you, you go over to Mary and if, and if you're lucky Mary has his ultimate ready you let him pop up his, his ultimate that will reduce the enemy's damage for, for um, I believe 6 seconds and then if possible then you can time that with Nova and throw a stun sp spear against Araji in the back just as um, Mary's um, uh, lower damage curse or what is it called Abby's curse I think uh, is exhausting or Araji on the opposing team decides to fire his, his, uh, his laser beam or, Molo or um, Vulcan here also decides to fire his skill so let's try and do that um, I believe it's best to <laughs> speak these things in advance and try not to disturb the um, the, the fight as we go so we got surprised there maybe we should maybe we should redo this one because it turns out it turns out that um, Arajit ultimated before before we could have Sigurd raise his shield. So we'll have to do in this case an opposing um, tactic. We will launch Nova's spear right when possible. There. So we prevented those from firing. Now we raise the shield. And there, we saved Hyperion's skill and also Mary's skills for the next fight. There we go. Now, we haven't fought yet with the Fire Titans, so that's what we're going to do now. This one is a bit more about uh, blunt damage, so trying to... Um, Trying to have your Moloch um, ultimate as soon as possible to to stun the opposing team and, and do a lot of damage, and then uh, kind of trying to 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 tie together Igni's ultimate with Araji's ultimate, so that you get a big boost of damage for 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 Araji, and if not for Moloch, we'll see. Seems like this one started first, and that really didn't went as planned. I'm not sure we can prevent that from happening. It might not be possible to prevent that uh, the ultimate from hidden from from triggering there. But we will do another fight just to be sure. Let's see. Okay, we got it uh, differently now because uh, Araji triggered is because I let this on auto. Araji triggered his ultimate skill just like a fraction of a second earlier, and that in turn allowed us to kill uh, Eden before he threw his rock. And that's one important thing to take in consideration here. That's an important lesson. If you can. If you can uh, kill the opposing uh, target before they finish the animation, then their ultimate skill will be prevented, will be stopped. So you can avoid a lot of damage. So that, in, in general case for, for Araji, that doesn't mean a lot. Uh, but for Hyperion, and especially for Eden, that means a lot. The next fight is a neutral fight. And we have different compositions we can use uh, here. So let's just go over those. We can do a classical 
tank Nova Super Titans. Okay, and we can and usually all these two in the front can can be inter exchanged. So you, you can put uh, Angus with uh, Nova. You can put Angus with Ignis. You can try more for defensive with um, uh, Sigurd and Nova, or you can try and put Ignis in there to boost the damage while while retaining the defensive skills from from Sigurd, or you can even put in here uh, Avalon or uh, Mary. Okay, that those are uh, uh, some possible scenarios there. But you can also do a more um, weird, <laughs> let's call it weird scenario, one that I've been using a lot for the past months, for the past six months or so. So you can put, you can put Mary in the front, you can put Ignis in the back, and then in the middle you can either put three Super Titans, where here, the three Super Titans, or you can place instead of one of these, um, you can go and put also uh, Nova. But Nova will be in the front, so she will take more more damage. So I don't often use that, but most, mostly I use this one. And what this will do is Mary will lower the damage of the opposing team, Ignis will increase your damage, and then you will have all the three supers, uh, which are um, which are tank um, titans that do a lot of damage, and also have all their fantastic skills. Hyperion doing healing and doing area of effect damage, Eden doing area of effect damage, and also entangling one one of the titans of the opposing team, so letting them out of the fight for some seconds, and Araji boosting the speed of your team and doing a lot of damage with the beam. So this is a great composition. Let's go and, and do this fight. This, um, oh, of course, I um, haven't talked about this yet, but uh, it's important to always uh, take in consideration the opposing team, regardless if they are... Uh, well, that went a little too soon. <laughs> Let's have let's redo this. But uh, uh, taking consideration the opposing team before you you start a fight, so you see here that they are also using three supers and Sigurd and Nova. So I'm not sure how this will will go, but the truth is that we also will be able to ultimate before them. So maybe we can prevent Sigurd uh, shield from Sigurd shield from being raised. Now we'll see that. So what we'll do here is gonna start with Mary and then throw the rocks of Sigurd, um, I mean Hyperion, throw the rocks of Eden, get the boost of Ignis and fire off Araji there. The fight is done basically. Now let's just finish this off before he ultimates. There we go. Uh, let's look at damage. Uh, our our damage was mostly from from Eden and not the supers basically M more from Eden but all the supers and we have uh, just a million damage um, done to our Mary but also we healed Mary for 500,000 so basically we we healed half the damage that we received that's very good let's move on to the next fight now if if this goes really well the plan is to to reach today either one 125 titanite or 185 titanite. We'll see what we can do. Let's now see which of our titans are more uh, depleted of energy, of um, of health. So we already have um, Sigurd a little behind there. So we'll try... I think we'll go for... for for fire versus earth because fire versus earth they don't have any supers there so we'll try this one seems a bit more sensible to go with this fight yes let's start with that ideally you would have waited for um, You would have waited for Ignis to, to ultimate before doing the other ones, but it felt like it was like three seconds there. So 
that was a long wait. Um, we don't do any healing with these titans, with the fire titans. So all we did was receive damage and cause damage. And the damage was was not that low. So it's, it's life. <laughs> Let's go on. So now we're doing okay because now the next fight is fire is, is um hurt versus water. So every every element so far is taking their turn. We're not uh, exhausting any specific element so far. Now we can ultimate that as uh, soon as possible. That's fine. And we can let Eden and then Angus ultimate for sure. So Sigurd's gone with their shield and Hyperion wasn't able to neither attack us with, with his um, rocks nor heal, which I think was what he was trying to do. It w he was trying to heal. So this was very quick. Um, if your damage is quite high and you can prevent the opposing team from doing too much damage, you can just let Angus finish them off. Sometimes I do that. But I opted this time for letting... Uh, Angus and Eden play play together. So the damage taken was 400k. Very low. Very good for us. So looks like Earth Earth Titans are doing uh, better. That's not surprising because I, I have uh, increased uh, Angus level to uh, 120 and um, is also um, the last the last titan that i that i upgraded recently so he's doing quite well now we have the option of, of going again fire which i would not recommend or going with the neutral and i think we will do the neutral here because we can always with this fight rely on hyperion to heal a little bit we can even throw in there the fire titans and have them healed if possible but let's just go for the current tactic let them ultimate, it's fine, again, because they already started attacking, let Eden ultimate, and I just did a mistake, this will cost us dearly, so let's redo this one, let's redo that fight. We have the option here of waiting a little bit. I don't know if that if that will work out, but we can try to wait for for Ignish. Well, we can try that. No, this is just too long. This is just too long. W we will do. Um, I think we will do a little bit better by by having. They just start firing a little bit as soon as possible. Not necessarily the immediate second, but uh, as soon as possible. Let's trigger, let's say, trigger now all of them together. Have Ignish afterwards, and then Eden there, together with Ignish. Yes. That's it. Now this was good. Now just finish off the remaining without letting Silva do any damage to us. Result of this, uh, 1 million and... Uh, wow, nice! 800,000 uh, healing. Why? Because Ignish um, he ultimated and afterwards Hyperion healed. So it, it basically doubled the healing power of Hyperion. So basically, almost uh, an uh, inoffensive fight there. <laughs> Let's go on. And I'll be trying to uh, put out as much information as I can. Now we're going. We're going again with the the Earth Titans. I believe. Um, I believe we can do more with with Angus there. Let's time this one. Shields up, Angus fighting. Let's see if Angus can finish them off without resorting to Eden. Let's look at the damage. Only 400k, basically. So 
that's okay let's move on now we have water versus fire now let's try do some tricks here so that's fine now we trigger this before they start eating us and now ah, was a little bit too early we can do better than that so ideally we need to stop um, their ultimates from firing so fire Hyperion fire, fire Mary no no again too early huh? but I'll prevent the rest now so uh, I don't think uh, Sigurd got a lot of damage there. Ah, oh, still a million. <laughs> but we we healed Alf, so okay. Continuing another hero fight, just out of this. So now we have the option of uh, fire and neutral. See, our Mary is still doing just fine, so we'll just continue pushing with, with Mary in the front. I'll wait a little bit there. Let's start with this. And that. Uh, it wasn't ideal, I guess, but uh, it's okay. Results of this: uh, close to one million damage split upon upon two titans, and healing we healed off. That's okay. We at least have all of them al almost ready to to ultimate. So the next fights will, will go uh, a bit better. now we go over to the next so we, we we changed level to the next level and now we are no longer able to do auto fights because the um, well let's talk about that in a second so the fir the first um the first 65 points of titanite they they end up just before the first gate that that will change you the level, and then um, and and those 60 f 65 points of titanite for those uh, first uh, rooms, they they will give you uh, standard rewards, and then you have the option of opening the gate, and changing to the next level, the next dungeon level. That next dungeon level will have then then onwards uh, double the rewards, so double titanite, double titan souls, double. Uh, um titan potions and um and you will not have the option to do any any raiding or auto fighting although you can then join the fight and enable auto mode that's fine and um and that's basically that uh, uh what, what else can i say uh I typically recommend p players to do uh, uh, either 65 Titanite, but don't open the gate and don't reach 75 Titanite. Or else do 125 Titanite, not 90, 125 Titanite. So so why to earn all the double rewards of the, the next level. And then the other option doing 185 Titanite, not 150 Titanite. So again, to earn all the double rewards for that level. So 65 Titanite for the first level, which is repeatable and gives you no double rewards. Then 125 for the, for the second level without opening the second gate. So all, all the way double rewards. And then 185 Titanite for the third level without opening the third gate. So to give you also double rewards. Don't stop at 
150, it doesn't make any sense. If you went all the way to 150, finish the level and get the double rewards. Don't stop at 90 without going all the way to 125. If you reach 90, finish the rest of the level and collect the double rewards, okay? And uh, if you stopped and if you did 65, don't don't jump to 75 and end your fights there because then you will be wasting all the double rewards for the next level. And why do I say this? Because the next day, imagine you did you, you did 75, so you you finished all the fights from the first level. You open the gate and you stop there without doing any more fights at 75. All those double rewards for that level will not be available the next day. You will lose those. And the same if you do to 90 Titanite. From 90 Titanite till 125 Titanite, those double rewards, if you don't do those, they are lost. The next day they are lost. You cannot, you cannot do those anymore. And the same from 150 to 185 Titanite. Okay? Don't fall for that trick. Really, uh, if if anyone is telling you you, you must stop at those targets, disregard that. The person who's telling you that is not aware of the mechanics of the game. The mechanics of the game are meant to reward you for doing more, not doing less. So you should do more. You shouldn't stop at 150 or 90. Okay. So either do 65 or 125 or 185 for standard days, okay? If you want to push forward, you can also do that, though I don't recommend that. But you can do this, these tiers and collect all the, r the possible rewards for these levels. And um, just, mm, just in general, be better with that, okay? Next up, the next fight will be Earth versus Water. That's... Uh, just to recap, we'll be aiming at either 125 or 185 Titanite, depending on what we can achieve. Might be an easy day, might be a hard day, might be a so-so day, we will see. So next up, Earth versus Water. So we aren't ready. Okay, now we have one ultimate, second ultimate. I will let Angus come into action now. Okay. This is one of the possible scenarios. So there um our our Eden put uh, Sigurd uh, um, put their uh, Yapirin out of the fight for a few seconds on the ground. And two options we can we can um do here um either hope that Eden does that um, on their tank so that you can finish Hyperion first or if it, do it doesn't happen hope that Hyperion doesn't ultimate otherwise it's just best to repeat the fight let's see so not ideal let's repeat of course I could also have a triggered Silva in there but let's let's try repeating the other way around let's try having uh, our Eden um, entangle in the ground any of the other Titans, but not Hyperion, if possible. <laughs> okay, but still was not. Nah. Hyperion still ultimated. Nah. So we'll try another one uh, time and um, let's just throw in the mix Silva there and see if she can help us uh, getting rid of Hyperion before he ultimates because he will do a lot of damage to us if, if we don't if we don't stop him. Okay, okay. No. Yes. Done. <laughs> so result of this uh eight hundred thousand damage. Okay. 
not too bad. Could have been worse. Could have been a million, a million and two hundred thousand, or whatever. We prevented the worst. The next dungeon update will remove the hero fights. I'm so eager for that because, if essentially, it will cut in half the fights while at the same time making sure that you get the same rewards you were getting today and also more gold rewards so basically uh, instead of I don't know instead of 10 fights you will do five fights to get the same reward plus extra gold so basically less time spent and more gold that's really good Because um, hero fights here never, never meant anything. They just, um, they just there. They, they are there to earn you titan potions, but they're not doing any, any real function. It's just, um, they're just there taking time. They, they have no, no meaning. Because uh, you can put just one or two str uh, of your strong heroes and you will still win, no problem. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, clean fight. Now I was hoping not to spend so much uh, super powers, but uh, okay. We only get we only got five hundred thousand damage, and we didn't heal. There was no time for that, but okay. We prevented the the most damage. We have now reached 91, and so that's where I will say, don't stop here. <laughs> Come on, guys, uh, follow my lead. Don't don't fool yourselves. Don't stop there because that's just um, that's just not to your advantage. You can you can keep collecting the double rewards. You will see now. I will finish this fight, and you see the time that it costs me here is uh, what uh, 15 seconds and i got two more two uh, two times two more titanite so four titanite and two times 50 titan potions so why shouldn't you do more than 90 if you're doing 90 push further than 90 titanite keep pushing till 125 i mean unless your titans die in the way <laughs> that's a valid a valid reason not not to proceed, but uh, if you can, just push to to one hundred and twenty five at the night, because you will not be able to do those to get those double rewards the next day. You will lose them for that level. That level is not repeatable anymore. The same way. Let's go, Hyperion. Let's go, Mary, and let's go, Nova. Very good timing, not, not not perfect, but very good timing. We have Hyperion fully charged, we have uh, Sigurd almost fully charged, and Nova is on, 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 on her way as well, almost. So uh, close to 700,000 damage and close to 500,000 uh, healing. Let's go. We are now draining a bit the, the water titans, but okay. At least they can try to heal and reduce damage, while the, the fire titans they cannot. Uh, that's uh, my analogy for that. Let's go, Sigurd, Nova. Now probably, Probably was not worth using Mary there because it was such a, such a short time of using his, his skills there. But uh, he's almost uh, again uh, ultimating, so it's okay. We don't need to repeat. Well, we cannot repeat anymore the fight, but um, that's what I concluded before letting the fight proceed. 1 million damage and 500,000 healing. Double rewards again, as expected. 
And the third level, you will also keep getting um, double rewards because double rewards happen the first time you do a level. That's why when you when you redo the, the same level the next day, it's not the first time, then you only get single rewards. And if you keep doing this day by day, so if you just do 65 every day, you will be always repeating the same level and always getting just um, uh, normal single rewards, not double rewards, okay? So next up, I uh, will do again, oh wait, Mary is off, off life now. Let's check on the fire. Mm. I really want to keep my fire titans alive longer because you never know. Maybe on the third level, I will have more more um, fire titan fights. So I'll just keep using our neutral team. And if needed, I can always replace Mary there with some some other tank or some other titan in the front. We'll see. Maybe Avalon. Avalon is. Avalon is one of the titans I usually put, um, usually put, um, ah, shouldn't talk when, when fighting. <laughs> okay, let's do this the proper way. So, whenever my Mary is too low in health, like uh, at one third, what I do is I switch for Avalon. And Avalon will hold fine usually till the end of the third level. Or at least the second level. Because it's high enough. Uh, it's high level enough. And uh, why that? Because uh, if you check on the Earth team. So the Earth team. And Avalon is, is behind uh, um, Angus. So he is usually not, not getting a lot of damage. So he can sustain longer. And then, um, and then even if Angus becomes a bit compromised, Hidden is still quite strong to take some hits. Okay, in the Fire Titan composition, Moloch, on the other hand, is a bit more fragile. At least I, uh, that's what I usually think. He's also lower level, but I think he's more fragile. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead with our normal fight. I will try to spare my fire titans from from too many fights. That's where I have less less investment too. Okay, let's go. Araji, Hyperion. Do not trigger Mary yet, just yet. No. And now let's go. Hyperion. And I will call the help of no need, no need, okay. I might have prevented uh, Ignis there from triggering. Mm, I'm not sure, maybe. Uh, we received 1 million damage and we healed another 500,000. Our Mary is reaching the point where he will need replacement soon. And we're now opening the next level. So we'll try now to go for 185 and that will be the end of our dungeon tactics um, tutorial, I guess, because we're not pushing more than that. Uh, usually I get more confident when I reach 125, it means, oh, if I lose along the way, not too bad, because I already passed 125. And if I lose, for example, I lose all my titans at, uh, I don't know, 140, not too bad, because I already collected a lot of, um, a lot of uh, rewards. Still, not ideal, because I haven't collected the 150 titanite for the daily quest. But then if I lose past 150, oh, if I lose past 150, who cares, right? <laughs> I already did the the best the best rewards. No, no, don't let that happen. Now we, it wasn't too bad, but don't let that happen. Why? Because some titans move uh, faster than the others, and your Eden can miss the titans in the front if, if you're not careful. 
you should only let Eden ultimate after or just before the other titans settle their positions. So preventing that, now we can do that. So this way it will hit every every titan, that's much better. And now whoever triggers first wins. <laughs> Okay, options here. Mm. Let's think this through. I probably can time time Eden there and finish off Hyperion. Let's repeat. Is um there's one one thing I would like the developers to improve. Even though the Titans are underground with the entanglement. I wish we could see their health so that we could plan better the next steps. So Hyperion, he goes on the ground, we lose the bar of his health, we don't know how much health how much health he has anymore. Then we need to to, to wait for him to, to get back and then an extra second for the health bar to show up. And that's when we know how much health he has. And that really uh, screws up our, our tactics. I wish the developers would change that. So, yeah, we'll just repeat. So, a note for the developers, please change the way the health bars are visible. Don't hide the health bars if the titans go go underground or removed from the fight. Please, please, <laughs> can I say, please, a third time, don't, don't let that happen. Please change that. Now. Let's trigger now both. And not enough. Not enough. This one is a little harder. Uh, it's either we make a compromise and let him and let him uh, ultimate or we just keep trying and, and hope to to be smarter than an Hyperion. But uh, I'm not seeing that that happening. Now we can just let the game do auto and see where it leads us. Sometimes it's a good idea. Sometimes it's best. Let's check on that. If the result is fine, I'll, I'll be happy. Stop there. And ultimate. Ultimate 2. Yes, well, we lost. Angus ultimate, but uh, we prevented further damage. I don't know what's worse. One million damage. Let's continue. What's done is done. So, uh, for the record, the next fights we should avoid using the Earth Titans or otherwise uh, taking out Angus and just leaving him for essential fights so that we can we can distribute the damage among the other Titans and not lose any Titan too soon. If we lose Titans in the last one, two, three fights, that's okay, but we shouldn't lose Titans early on. And we are still. Uh, what was the level? The the room now was the room. Uh, it's now the room. It's now for one forty one Titanite. So our goal is still in another forty forty four Titanite. So I don't want to lose Angus just yet. And uh, if I put Angus out of the fight, the next fight, that means uh, instead we will have uh, Avalon in the front, so I will have to use now Mary. Because we cannot lose both Angus and uh, Avalon.
Let's go see. That was very poorly timed. Missed com completely, but okay. One million damage and uh, one hundred thousand. Eh. Ah, it was not not ideal, but okay. We now reached one fifty one Titanite. So the, if possible, we'll try using now the fire titans, and because those are the ones that cannot heal, cannot prevent the opponent opponent from attacking you and stun them. Well, Mo Moloch does stun. That's true, and and uh, Vulcan often can kill with one shot. Um, but um, dang it, we don't get to use the fire titans. Dilemma, Dilemma, Dilemma. It will have to be Sigurd then. We're going to, to put Sigurd up ahead and let him take some damage, I guess. So let Mary trigger. Let now this one's trigger stop them Sigurd took a lot of damage this fight and uh, the alternative would have been so 1 million damage on Sigurd and 500,000 okay not too bad it was just average an uh, alternative would have been not to trigger Mary there and wait for Sigurd to trigger. And then when, when Sigurd's uh, shield would run out, go back to our standard, which would be to trigger Mary and then Nova. Or just trigger Nova, whatever whatever would be best. But I, I let it run and this is the result. We have um, most Titans ready to ultimate, so that's going to be to our advantage in the next fight. Now, the next fight, I can keep on using this or switch for Avalon. Let's do with Avalon now. Because so far, our our Angus is still, uh, I would say, fit for at least one more fight. So we'll see. Okay, you can ultimate both of you. And now, trigger and trigger. Oh, I believe we can do something here. You see, Avalon's shield can be boosted by Ignish. Cast a shield absorbing this much damage on all eyes. I think I when you use uh, Ignish, it, it, it can boost Avalon's shield. So, Things that Ignis cannot boost, cannot boost uh, Sigurd's shield, cannot boost um, Mary's uh, curse, so Mary's Abyss curse, and Sigurd's shield. Ignis cannot boost those, but he can boost uh, the damage of all titans, of course, and also the, um, I believe, though, Maybe we could ask these the developers. I think it can boost Avalon's shield because it's a um, it's a fixed number that increases per level, right? So if and it depends on physical attack. So if you can increase that, then it should physical attack or physical damage or whatever they they, they they're using for the map. So in theory, it can it can be increased. Whereas the secret shield blocks all damage for I believe. Um, uh, eight seconds or whatever what was it five seconds and then mary's uh, um, curse lasts six seconds eight seconds i, I keep <laughs> mixing those so I it's different and then uh, avalon's shield is a shield that doesn't have any any time it's just it's still the the shield is gone all the health of the shield is gone 
So if you can boost that with Ignis, then you can have it last longer and then prevent more damage from from being uh, from from being taken by your titans. That's in theory at least. So we will try to time Ignis just before Avalon's shield. Which was like one sec Oh man, <laughs> a crash. Which was like one second difference. A call to developers, please fix the crashes. These these are sad. These are um memory leaks. These are system instabilities. I'm using an emulator on a modern computer with 16 gigabytes of RAM and I still run out of memory and the game still crashes. This makes no sense. Please guys, look into these performance issues. No matter what I throw in there, I can throw in, in here 32 gigabytes of RAM. The game will still crash because memory leaks. The game becomes slow. CPU usage grows by time. Please look into this. So with our renting over, we go back to the fighting. Just one more comment. I can leave. Uh, I don't know. Battlefield Five, uh, Age of Empires, uh, Diablo Two, Diablo Three. Mm, Counter Strike. I don't know. Hundreds of games running in the background for hours, and they will not crash. Why does this game crash? Let's go back to our fighting. So Ignish and now uh, Eden at the end. So that was no publicity to any specific games. Uh, uh, I don't work for any video game company whatsoever. I just happen to like all those games that are listed. And uh, I find it very funny that um, I can pick so many games from the past, let's say, 40 years since, uh, well, since at least the 90s, anyways. And they don't crash like this. So I really hope that the developers are listening to this and they are looking into these issues. These are really embarrassing. These are stability issues. And if this happens in the computer, uh, just, I mean, just look at your phone and, and see how unstable it can get. And the phone is supposed to be a bit more, um, I mean, ah, just to continue with this renting just a few more seconds, I mean, the computer, if you have a computer for playing games, it's okay. If you have a work computer or a personal computer and occasionally you play games, I mean, you're playing a game, you're not working, you're not doing personal things, it's fine, right? If it crashes, usually it's fine. But a phone, I mean, that's your point of contact. That's where you get calls. That's where you get text messages and all that stuff. It can't be crashing, come on. And it can't be consuming this much memory and this much battery either. So, with that in mind, let's go and do, I believe, the last fight. And that will um, end the tutorial for today. I hope with this uh, you, you, you got some important tips. And um, this I hope this will help you on your, your dungeon daily quests, basically. It doesn't matter now the, the 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 timing because this will be the last fight. I'm not going to progress. I'm not going to lose any any titans. So we just let them have their fun the way they want. So we got now more titanite, and that's the end. One one hundred and eighty five titanite. We can now claim the rewards. And the rewards are these ones. And that's it. So um, I hope this was informative. And um, I hope to see you around. 
leave a like, subscribe if you if you think this is uh, worth it, and uh, or leave a comment if you would like to pose a question or a suggestion for next video or, or anything. And I'll see you around. Bye bye. Take care.